Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about introduction to Oracle Data Guard. In this lecture, we're gonna talk about what is Oracle Data Guard, what are the Data Guard usages, and what are the Data Guard disadvantages and limitations. Oracle Data Guard is considered to be part of the Oracle Maximum Availability Architecture. This architecture includes a lot of Oracle technologies, including Oracle Rack, which is used for scalability and high availability, Oracle Database Flashback, which is used for recovering uh, from human error correction, ASM, which is used for uh, disk management, RMAN, which is used for uh, database backup, Data Guard, which is used for data disaster recovery and query offload, Golden Gate, which is used for uh, replication, active to active uh, replication uh, among databases, and Oracle Secure Backup, which is used to take backup of the systems into tape. So Data Guard is one part of the whole architecture used for disaster recovery and query offload. You can Google Oracle MAA to obtain more details about those technologies. So in summary, what is basically Oracle Data Guard? Data Guard is a disaster recovery solution. This is the main objective of Data Guard, disaster recovery, which means the site which hosts the production database. If any disaster happens to that site, Data Guard will help you to recover. That's the main objective and the main target of Oracle Data Guard. It can also be considered as highly available and data protection solution. We will talk in details about how Data Guard can be considered as high available solution. As I said, the basic advantage of uh, uh, Oracle Data Guard is to be used for disaster recovery. So. Here in this diagram, I will assume that I have a production database and I have some application servers or clients connected to that production database. When you use Oracle Data Guard, you make a copy of that database into another machine or another site. If, you, if you're going to use Oracle Data Guard for disaster recovery, uh, definitely the other database would be in a, a different site. This copy of the database is called standby database. Then Data Guard will take care of synchronizing the data between the production database and the standby database. In terms of Oracle Data Guard, the production database is called primary database. When you use Oracle Data Guard, basically Oracle sends or transmits or transports the read log from the primary database to the standby database. That's, that's why we can consider Oracle Data Guard as log shipping based replication because it relies on sending the read log files from the primary database to the replica, to the standby database. But it also a, a unidirectional replication, which means any changes happens in the primary will go to the standby, but you cannot make modification to the standby. That's why it's called unidirection. The direction of replication is always from the primary database to the standby database. Here I'm listing the advantages of using Oracle Data Guard. Uh, we have talked about disaster recovery, any, any disaster recovery like fire, earthquake, flood, or even data corruption or uh, some error uh, done by the user or any mistake done by the, 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 the user, you can uh, use the data guard to restore or recover from those disasters. Also, data guard can be used for uh, server high availability. It will be in this case, active passive. Offload, read only queries from the primary database to the standby database. Offload the backups, rolling upgrade, and testing. More details in the incoming uh, slides about each of those. I'll talk a little bit more here about disaster recovery. So as I said, we you would have a, a standby database uh, installed in 
the same site but on a different host and actually even technically you can uh, install it in the same uh, server but uh, basically you will lose the advantage of uh, using data guard but uh, so typically you would uh, install it in in, in a separate uh, host on a separate machine or uh, in uh, a separate site if any disaster happens to the primary database the clients and the application servers will connect to the standby database instead and continue the operation data guard can be used also for offloading read-only inquiries typically you would have a, a bi software connecting to the primary database for generating reports and when you use data guard to have a, a standby database you can connect the reporting tools to the standby database instead of co uh, connecting it to the primary database by doing so you utilize the resources in the primary database uh, the bi solutions are known for consuming a lot of uh, uh, processing so instead of uh, making the load on the primary database the bi solution will uh, get its uh, data from the standby database instead the same applies for backup backup is known for taking a lot of resources from the server so instead of uh, making your backup uh, uh, solution taking its backup from the primary database you can let it uh, take the backup from the standby database one of the uh, biggest advantage of using data guard is the availability of using of uh, uh, applying rolling upgrade uh, the, what is the advantage of rolling upgrade when you want to up, to upgrade a database it's known that the da the downtime is uh, high you need uh, sometimes uh, uh, more than uh, more than an hour to upgrade a database using rolling upgrade you rapidly reduce this uh, uh, downtime to a few minutes uh, let me explain this in more details here um, suppose we have a, a data a data guard configuration built on uh, release 12.1.0.1 and you decide to upgrade it to 12.1.0.2 uh, so you start by applying the patch in uh, uh, standby database and then you make the clients and the application servers connected to the standby database after that you upgrade the primary database as you can see while you are applying the patch in the primary database the clients and the application servers are still uh, running they are not waiting for the upgrade to finish and then you can let the uh, clients and application servers get connected again to the primary database this is in high level how rolling upgrade uh, is, is, is running we're going to talk in this course about rolling upgrade and we will implement it in a practice practically data guard can also be very useful for uh, testing uh, usually when you want to implement uh, major changes in your production database uh, this uh, is considered usually as a high risk operation so you need to test uh, typically whether this uh, change will uh, positively or negatively affect your system so with data guard you can reduce this risk by implementing the changes on the standby database instead of implementing it on the primary database to do that typically you would uh, need uh, a testing uh, software or a testing uh, solution like uh, oracle real application testing which will uh, gather the workload from the primary database and then you will create a, a snapshot standby database from the standby database uh, we will talk in a separate lecture about a snapshot uh, standby database but basically it's a, a copy of the standby database which allows you to do uh, read write operations uh, on it uh, after that the real application testing or the testing soft or, or the testing software will uh, apply the workload on the snapshot database then you apply the changes on the uh, snapshot database and you uh, run the workload again on the snapshot standby database after that you will uh, notice the impact of the changes on the uh, testing solution and decide whether to go on with the changes 
or not as you can see you do all this without taking the risk of making any change on the primary database here i'm trying to group the advantages of data guard and give titles to each group we can give title to those advantages by saying uh, oracle data guard provides us high availability and data protection uh, solution when we use data guard for offloading the for offloading the read only queries and the backup we can say uh, data guard is considered to be used for resources utilization using data guard for rolling upgrade and testing we can also consider uh, those advantages as high availability advantages it is considered as uh, a solution which provides high availability data protection and resource utilization oracle data guard also provides automatic gap detection and resolution uh, simply we mean by that when the connection is lost between the primary database and the uh, uh, standby database some gap will be get, will be there of course in the replication when the connection comes back automatic automatically oracle data guard will recover will uh, fill this gap it will detect it and then re resolve it so this is advantage to data guard you don't have uh, as a dba to go on and manually uh, resolve the gap another advantage of data guard is that it is uh, highly integrated into oracle you don't have to install any uh, further software or any component it's, it's already there integrated with oracle database however when you consider oracle data guard for uh, uh, as a replication solution there are some disadvantages uh, first it's active passive replication which means if you uh, use uh, the data guard for uh, recovery for recovering from uh, hardware failure for example you will uh, uh, use only the primary database but the standard standby database will, will be will be will only be used when uh, there is a, a disaster so it's an active based solution whereas for example real uh, real application cluster provides active active uh, solution another disadvantage is uh, the oracle data guard is uh, provides only unidirectional replication uh, if you if you want bidirectional replication you need uh, a more advanced replication solution like uh, golden gate another drawback uh, is that the operating system and the platform architecture on the primary database and the standby server must be the same so uh, Oracle Data Guard is cannot be considered as heterogeneous uh, 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 replication solution. So that's it. Uh, basically, uh, we learned in this lesson uh, what is Oracle Data Guard, and we learned what are the advantages of using Data Guard and uh, the disadvantages. We will uh, talk in the next lesson about the uh, basic concepts of the oracle data guard architecture and after that we will do the hands-on practice on how to use and build an oracle data guard environment